We have an emergency. Um, I've been Skyping with Brent Spiner and Terrence Jenkins tonight. We have found the Malaysian jet that has been missing for since the 12th of this month. Um, let me just go ahead and get, tell you what, what's going on here. Um, we've located the missing jet. The jet was stolen by the Jesuits to help them break a world record in the Guinness Book of Jesuit World Records. The record was for the largest passenger jet to be flown into a Jesuit's anus with the passengers still inside. And my men, they used a seven foot tall, very muscular Jesuit who was genetically engineered for this event. And Jesuits are able to make tissues stretch very far. I think they put some sort of fluid on the tissues. So um, my men had to sneak into this event and they saw it with their own eyes. Okay. Um, they disguised themselves as Jesuits. This man, this Jesuit that, um, that absorbed the plane was of a large build, very muscular, very gay. Um, my men found out about this event. Vladimir's men were, ever since the 12th, my men have been investigating, trying to find this missing Malaysian airliner. And they found it, I think, about two days ago. And the Jesuits had trained for this world record. They suspended the Jesuit in the air, naked, with his rear facing the oncoming jet. The Jesuits lubricated the nose cone of the jet with anal lubricant. They had cameras set up to capture close-up videos of the Jesuits' face, his anal entry, and the faces of the pilots who were clones. What, what the Jesuits did is they captured the jet uh, on the 12th of this month, and it was hidden in an Indian Jesuit, a highly guarded Indian Jesuit compound. They... Um, they captured the real pilots and replaced them with clones, though all the passengers were real people. They weren't the clones. So this, they had cameras set up to capture close-up videos of the Jesuits' face, his anal entry, and the faces of the pilots who were clones, and the faces of the horrified passengers who watched this through the windows of the jet. Um, so on impact, the jet began to slide into his anus, but it got stuck at the wings. The Jesuits in the crowd were mostly concerned that this meant he wouldn't win the world record. Um, they were all cheering. Terrence Jenkins told me when he saw this, he was literally throwing up. It was just so disgusting. Um, like he did in the Quebec trial when Laurie McBride drug raped Brent Spiner and showed all the video footage of it. They were all cheering. The Jesuit pilots hit the thrusters, and the entire jet slowly made it the rest of the way inside the guy. So he looks like a big triangle right now with little tiny legs, and he's running around in India somewhere. And all these people are inside, and they're still alive, and they're screaming for help. They're not going to be alive within 24 hours if we don't get them out of this guy. Wings and all, the whole jet went inside. Um, what what we need is um, so he the, the Jesuit did suffer a lot of damage. Uh, we believe he's bleeding internally, but you got to remember that the um, the Jesuits genetically engineered him for this event. They prepared him. They're trying to break some sort of world record, and so he didn't suffer as much damage as like a normal person would for this. Um, the email that you need to write, what we need are scientists to help us come up with some sort of an abortion machine that we can use to suck the, the plane with its passengers out of the sky's anus. He looks like a big triangle with tiny little legs, and he's running loose in India right now. We got, we're going to try to capture him and maybe sedate him or something, but the people are inside, okay? So he has very expanded hips. He looks like a triangle. His hip, he's got a head, and then he looks right around the hip area. He's really stretched out. He looks like a triangle with little tiny legs in India. And, um, but he's mobile, and he's fleeing through India right now. Um, he can't be, you couldn't miss him if you saw him. 
So he has little legs scampering underneath with triangle body. He's about seven feet tall, but he's really stretched out right now. Um, uh, I'm, he's, he, uh, Brent told me he trained very hard for this. He's very muscular and healthy, but he is bleeding internally more than likely. And um, I asked Brent, why has he not fainted from loss of blood? He says he's a top-of-the-line, genetically fortified Jesuit, probably a clone created in their cloning labs, kind of like Sarah Avery, who was huge, you know. Um, so he was genetically engineered for this. Um, they believe that lesser clones may have died attempting to do this. He was trying to break a world record. Um, so the people are still alive. And we need to get them out of the sky. This, I know this sounds wild, but Jesuits are known for doing some pretty strange and extreme things. So they're still alive, but we need to locate and capture this Jesuit. We need brave volunteers to dig them out of his anus. Uh, whoever they are, they must be able to withstand the smell of Indian food because he's been eating Indian food, so his feces are going to smell like Indian food. We also need scientists to develop a large abortion machine to do an anal abortion. And um, so I'm making this video. Contact Judge Terrance Jenkins or my men at Gail Cord Schuler, G A I L C H O R D S C H U L E R, at gmail.com. Any scientists out there? We, within 24 hours, if we don't get these people out of this guy's anus, they will die. They're losing oxygen fast, okay? So um, it's not a good situation at all. At first, we thought everybody was dead. We just found that these people are still alive. So um, the uh, original pilots are being held hostage at some sort of Jesuit compound, and they're being used for experiments to try to... I, Jesuits are, I think, sexually torturing them and trying to learn new ways to develop sexual torture. So the real pilots are being held hostage. The passengers are inside this guy's anus, and the, the pilots who, who drove the plane into the guy were Jesuit clones. Okay, that, I think that pretty much covers it. But right now, as crazy as this sounds, I do believe that this is... Um, this just sounds like Jesuits. It's really sad. Okay, we need um, we any scientists contact Judge Terrance Jenkins or my men at that email. If you can come up with a way to develop an abortion machine, contact them. Okay.